this some kind of sick joke. I said this was happen. We would crumble under the pressure of Manchester City and our shitty little defence would not be able to handle their players De Bruyne, even Bill, Phil or Bill, I don't even care what his name is at this point, Phil or Bill, bloody Foden, he rips our defence to shreds and why, and why, and why, I'm standing here in the middle of the street looking like an absolute plonker but I don't care because I've just witnessed 101 or 111 minutes of bloody absolute crap from that Arsenal team and I am sick of it I've forgotten what life is like as an Arsenal fan but now I have finally remembered an absolute pile of Yankee Danky doodle shite I'm standing here at the bus stop looking like an absolute mong but do I care once again no not at all absolutely spineless from Arsenal and Mikel Arteta's team selection what an absolute joke how does this man think it is okay to start Matteo Guendouzi, number one over Ceballos? Why did Ceballos not start from the beginning? Yes, he came on early, but that was only because of the bloody injury. Martinelli and Pepe, both on the bench, our most creative players in a game where we need their creativity the most. They are on the bench and they are nowhere to be seen and instead when he has the chance to bring them on he brings that bloody cucumber sandwich Alex Lacazette who quite frankly is absolutely another sack of Yankee Danky doodle shite and I do not want to see him play another game for Arsenal unless he shows that he fights for the badge and plays properly like he can and really really should be doing Next to Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang, who also, I thought, was absolute dog crap tonight. Did not show one ounce of heart. Terrible, terrible leader performance. What was there up top? Absolutely nothing. It was like we played FIFA. We played on foot champs. We lost our first 20 matches and then just sat back for the last 10 because we didn't care and went ultra defensive right from the start. There was no creativity. There was no flair. There was no aggression. There was absolutely nothing. And I am absolutely fuming. City knocked us out of the park like they were playing baseball. What is this? I'm not, a, I'm not in America. I'm in England to watch football. And what we play today... Once again, was an absolute sack of Yankee Danky doodle shite, like I've said twice already in this video, because that's all I can describe that performance by. It was an absolute pile of absolute rubbish. And I'm quite frankly sick of it. Three months uh, without Arsenal have probably been the best three months of my life as an Arsenal fan. And I've had enough if this continues on Saturday against Brighton which it bloody well better not because then I will really pop off I'm absolutely fuming at that disgrace of a performance David Luiz back to you you sideshow bob spaghetti head little tosser I don't care about this swearing I am sick of you mate absolutely sick of you was it really that hard did any man stick Brit stick bloody glue on your legs before that game. Was it really that hard to intercept Kevin De Bruyne's whatever long ball or whatever the bloody hell it was? I'm standing here, it's 10.30 at night. The streets are absolutely pitch black and I don't give an absolute crap because what I've just witnessed is a joke. OK, you don't know what life as an Arsenal fan is. And the worst thing is I had to watch the game on flipping Hez Goal, an illegal streaming site, because I don't have Sky Blooming Sports. That makes this even worse. And I'm absolutely fuming. I don't want to hear any of these Spurs fans cussing me because you man are losing on Friday against Manchester United. So don't come and disrespect my club because your club is equally as shit. Quite frankly, that's, all, that's the only way I can describe it. I'm out. I don't care if you smash the like button. Hit the dislike for all I care because I am absolutely 
bloody fuming and I've had enough of everything with this club. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I know it's only one game in and yeah, they weren't fit in that. But the one player that showed heart tonight was Kieran Tierney. I said he shouldn't start. He proved me wrong, which I'm glad about. That's the only positive. Taking into Sunday, I'm done. I am absolutely done. I know you could say, no, but Aaron, it's only one game. It's not just one game. Just everything is a joke. I'm sorry, I thought things were up on, under Arteta, but we capitulated. We discombody, bloody bobulated, as we always do at teams like City, Liverpool, Chelsea, teams like that. And it's an absolute farce, and I'm sick of it. Smash the like, smash the dislike for all I bloody care. I'm out, I'm sick of it, and yeah, the, uh, uh, I'm done, I'm done, I'm done, I'm done, I'm done.